guys, G7 here, and welcome to another review on this channel. Today you can see I have the Inform Defrau. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but personally I don't know who Inform Defrau is. I don't know who Defrau is. He started as a 74 rated silver, he got an upgrade to a 75, and then recently he's got an Inform, which has put him to the 81 Inform, where his stats do look insane. So I'll put him in this team with, obviously, Renato Sanchez and Golo Kante, Dimitri Payet playing centre mid, David Luiz, Fonte, a decent all-round side, nothing too expensive because I want to try and make the lime like show on Defrau. Anyways, let's get into his in his base stats. See, there's something quite spectacular. 89 pace, 80 shooting, 84 dribbling, 72 passing. For an 81 card, that looks pretty insane. I mean, 80 shooting alone, the 89 pace really does come along with it, and the 84 dribbling, he does look very good. Five foot ten, high, medium, very very good. It's, Skill moves and his weak foot do lay down a little bit as only 3 star, but overall a very decent looking card to use. Obviously I paid 18k, he's a very, very cheap card because of his rating. And so guys, this look is in-game stats. Because as you can see, footwits have changed their design of this. They have put it as in each card, each base stat and put it into each section. So you can see, pace, 93 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, very good. Shooting, attack, positioning, 84. That is what I like in a striker, and that is exactly what he has got. 84 attack positioning is very, very good. Um, 84 finishing as well, look very good at shooting. Long shot, 78, okay. In terms of passing, there's not that much vision. Vision is the highest stand, nothing too great in the passing. You wouldn't expect it for a low rate card. Dribbling agility 84, very good. Ball control 85, dribbling 86, so very, very good around his stats there. Defending, obviously, you don't want to look at it. And then the physical, he's not the strongest of players. But obviously, the acceleration, the finishing, attack positioning, and the agility are the main standout stats there. Anyways, let's get into the highlights I did manage to get with Inform Defrau. So here we go guys with the highlights and first of all I've got to say that he plays very very well for an 81 rated striker. Obviously his stats look a bit better than 81 in my opinion, probably about an 83 rated striker at least. He does look very very good, he does play very nicely and as you'll see in the highlights he is a very good player to play with for his rating. First of all for the pros we have pace. No, ex no um, real dilemma nothing you'd ex not expect from him you'd expect him to have good pace because he's got 89 pace and incredible acceleration and he does really show that he can run past players very easily even though he's a little weak at times he can run past the players quite well and his pace does really show when it comes to running through defenses like you'll see in these highlights um in terms of finishing, it was very, very good. You'll see a couple of missed chances in here, but again, like I say in all these videos, it is probably because of me. I'm not the best at the game. I miss a lot of chances. I don't know how to do it. Because if you want to teach me on how to make all my chances go in, then you can. But apart from that, I'm not going to blame the striker as much. I mean, the finishing, because the goals he does score in these highlights are will prove to you that he is a very very good player and he's more than what you'd expect and then next up with attack positioning that is something I want in every striker that I play with if they haven't got some good attack positioning they do not even get a sniff of a chance of playing in my team I say in every striker episode that I do on a review attack positioning is very very important and that is why I like to use it I like to talk about it a lot in terms of it because if you think about it, if a striker is never in the box, if he's never going to be in the areas where he's going to be able to tap in the goals, or you're going to be able to play the through ball into him, then what's the point of him even playing? There's not really much point at all in him playing, and that is what I thought about on this. And then, probably did leave out was dribbling, because it's just, his card does have good dribbling. His in-game stats is he has good dribbling. His dribbling was very decent, but it wasn't quite a pro, because it can sometimes lead to error. Because his dribbling, I sometimes think that's too good than it actually is, and that could be problems. But of course, there's always players with cons. And so moving on to the cons, first we have strength. The strength on him is weak. He is getting pushed off the ball a lot. It's not really his main point at all. Strength is something that you would expect. Obviously, shielding he's good at. There's no players that aren't good at shielding, really, on this game. 
and that is why he is decent at shielding, but strength in general is just not there. Passing as such, a lot of these low rated strikers in forms, etc., they have low passing, the passing is not the best, and he's no exception. He has the same sort of press as a Andre Gray sort of player, and it does seem to show that his passing isn't quite there, although it is decent. And so, this is, there are the pros and cons. Um, I'm just going to show you this last highlight. To death route, it's a fake shot scoop. I got a lucky rebound. Fake shot past him. About to shoot. Get taken down. He does win the penalty. And as you've already seen the highlights, he has got two goals in this game. This is a chance for the hat trick for death route in the review match to see how good he really is. And he's obviously I'm going to let him step up to the penalty with his left foot. And I chip it down the right. It's a very fantastic goal. And that completes the route of 5-3 against this player. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy, please leave a like rating, please subscribe. If you do have any suggestions for player reviews, any player reviews that you'd like to see, please leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to do almost any player as long as they're not that expensive because obviously I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I can't just buy coins on coins. Anyway guys, remember to subscribe. I'll see you later. Goodbye.